Okay, hello my friends. Bear with me here. Uh, let's see. I keep changing up how I do the lives to try to figure out which one works better for me. And I pretty much decided that none of them work well for me. Oh, okay, so my comments are coming up. Okay, and I think I have to do the flippy thing with the wand, but I don't remember how to do it. Settings, so that stuff's not backwards. Hi, Sue. Um, okay, so Susan, do me a favor. Um, if I could find something that has writing on it or a picture, I need you to tell me. Are these words forwards or backwards? Need to figure out if I'm doing something right or wrong. And then, sorry about the people on YouTube, because right now they're getting a flash of, like, just my shirt. But we're getting there. Backwards. Okay. 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 Is it forward now? For both screens, it should be facing forward now. Okay. Super stressful. Okay. All right, we're gonna start with, good. Okay, good. All right, I think I'm in business. And then my YouTubers, I don't know if you guys will be able to comment. Right now it's not showing me any comments on the side, so I'm assuming you guys aren't gonna be able to comment, but if you can, feel free to try to comment and then hopefully maybe I'll see them. Maybe they'll pop up, no guarantees on that one either. Okay, can I scoot back a little bit? Boom, all right, we're ready to roll. I think we're ready to roll. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Saturday night's live shopping. If you did a class earlier today, thank you for joining our classes. We love to see all your little faces, even though we can't touch your faces. Um, we have tonight, um, I did find some, some linen that was already like pre-cut, ready to go. I am not on the entire screen like last night. I'm small. Yeah, because I'm using my iPad. That's why I'm small. If I come up too small on Facebook, I will try it a different way. But what I was trying to do is create a better feed for the YouTube because I feel like when I rewatch the YouTube, um, yes, I review myself. Um, it seemed to be very like bitty and it was very, it wasn't very clear. So I'm hoping that by doing it this way, it's clearer. So I have. Facebook on my iPad and YouTube on, no, yeah, and YouTube on my laptop. But last night I ended up doing both Facebook and YouTube on my laptop, but I think because I was running both programs at the same time, it, it didn't work really well. But yeah, if it looks weird, let me know because I'll just kick my Facebook people out. You guys can log right back in. I'll just jump right back onto a live and we'll do it the different way. Let's start. Okay, so how this works is Every item I show you has an item number. You've, sorry, I almost knocked everything over. Um, what you do is you comment sold with the item number that's associated with the item you want that I'm holding up. So you could write sold and the item number. Meredith, try cranking your volume. Is that my iPad that's really quiet? Hmm. You know what? I might just do it like we did before. I'm kicking you guys off. Give me one second. Um, I don't even know how to. Okay. I'm going to hit finish and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to re-sign in like in two seconds on the, um, no, you can hear. All right. Then I'm not doing it. We're going with it. Meredith, crank your volume. <laughs> oh, damn, you already have. Shoot. Well, I'll try yelling. Um, I don't know. Yeah. 
last night I didn't have any problem with volume at all. Actually, I felt like when I watched it back last night, it was way too loud. So, all right, I'm going for it. Let's just go. And then if it's if I freeze up or it's becoming an issue, then we'll we'll re readdress. Okay, so back to the rules. The rules are if you're interested in item, you write sold in the item number. Each piece will have an item number to it. That's what's associated with it. Sold item number. If I'm low on quantity, I will tell you that I'm low on quantity. I will let you know, uh, especially with like the linens and stuff like that. I know I'll only have like two or three pieces. I am going to do some linen tonight because I think we have more that we can do tomorrow. So I found some pre-cut already ready to go pieces that I had found after the sales in November. So I want to do those ones tonight after. Um, but we're going to start with Susan Green and Davis first. Um, now with... Susan Greening Davis, um, her items are limited. So everything that she does is kind of like one of a kind. And once she sells out of it, you can't really get it back in again. So if there's something that you're interested in, my suggestion is get it now because it could be gone later on. Um, so she sent me a whole bunch of stuff. So I have, I think, 10 items. Susan's also doing a fun little door prize. So I'm gonna show you that first. So what she's doing is if you purchase an item from her, out of her selection that I have here, she's gonna automatically enter you into a drawing and it's to win this little man here, this little guy. So he's this cute little snaily with the little googly eyes, okay? And then what he actually is, is a tape measure. And it has a push button retractable. That's his little flower on his head. So this is what you win if you purchase one of her items and she pulls your name out of her drawing and she'll send you this guy. Okay, so that's a fun little drawing she's doing. Sorry, I'm reading comments too. Go to the window. All right, Kay, that's not for me. That's for somebody else, right? Go to the window. Tammy is talking in, blah, 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 blah. Let me know if that's for me. Because if I have to do somebody, somebody's got to say, Tammy, do this. <laughs> and then I'll do it. Um, but I'm, I'm flying solo. Usually I have Kelly and Kelly's great. She reads the comments and tells me what I'm doing wrong. And I don't have her. She's she's sitting in snow and I'm sitting in sun. Although it's, it hasn't been too sunny lately down here. Um, okay, let's see. So, and Susan's awesome. She sent me descriptions of everything. And so I have all the information so I can make sure I give it to you guys correct because some of the stuff I won't know as much about. So, um, and she even has this little thing that's like holler creations or exclu exclusive or limited, which I already knew. Um, so they are specials that she's done. These were all things that she specifically did do actually for our shows that were supposed to come up to like be physical and she's been holding on to them. And we finally decided let's show these people what she's been stashed holding for the celebration ease. Can I move my screen down so we can get less ceiling? No. <laughs> um, yes, I can move the screen down. Hold on. Excuse my face, YouTubers. <laughs> and my armpit. Sorry. <laughs> my God. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to try to bump. <gasps> no, I just almost knocked everything over, though. How's that? Is that better? Is that more face, less ceiling? I feel like YouTube has more face and less ceiling. Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, interesting. Okay. Everybody tell me if that is better or worse. Better? Better. Okay. Let's roll this. All right. Oh, actually, you know what I want to do first up? So um, round robin. 
Susan, this was Susan's round robin. Can everybody see that? So she did this. She's got an antique book in here. But this is what she sent off for, to everybody for a round robin. It's got a little kit there. She does have extra kits of this. So if you do not have, did not get into the round robin because we were limited on some of the other kits, I do have some of these and we will be selling these. She has, I think maybe six or 12 that she said left. So if you're still interested in getting a second one for a friend, or if you weren't able to get into the class, we still do have her kit that you could purchase. These are $15, okay? That's that. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Vera Bradley. So Susan did this cute little, so this is called the Katie Katie. This was a sellout bag a few years back. And then she stitched this all, and let me move the handle. She stitched the little piece on the front and mounted it. So it's stitched with silks and it's got this extra special little fabric. And I'm gonna show you the fabric that comes in the kit so that you can see it, okay? So this is what it looks like completed on the outside. The fabric is from Germany, the one that you'll be stitching on. And let me show you. So first we're gonna show you the bag. So this is the bag. This is a very nice Vera project bag. Perfect for your projects, but perfect for traveling as well. It's netted on both sides with a zipper on both sides, okay? The kit is this little chart and it's got the fabric on the inside. Can you see that fabric? A little bit of a glare. I've got this bright light to try to show the fabric colors a little bit better. See how it's got the stitching pattern on there? So you get that fabric along with it. So this, we're gonna hold it back up. This is gonna be $95 for the set. You get the bag and that kit. It's item number 809, 809, and this is $95. Eight zero nine ninety five dollars. That's just my packaging. Oh yeah, this is the beast. We're doing the beast next. So this is I was talking about this earlier. This book is incredible. So this is called. Um, what is it? The folded pee hole edging. Folded PGP hole edging. And it is going to be item number 800. Look at this book. It's it's huge and it's very, oh, I seem to not be able to hold things, very, very descript and detailed. So let me show you. I'm going to move my little Katie. So this book was written by Lizine Happel. She was, it was written specifically for Susan and Susan corresponded with the creation. Um, it's an example of work that teaches you step-by-step -step instructions and pictures for this. Okay, so this is item number 800. This is the book that you get. Item 800. And this was $20. Item 800 for $20. Next is another book. Kate kept everything in her packaging. This is gonna be Sampler Studies, if I can get it out of the bag. Okay. All right. So, Sampler Studies. So Susan had recently published this 47 years of independent historical needlework studies. So each page has these nice stories sharing the history. So you can stitch the keepsakes. So can you see they've got the little, let's show you a different page. So this is $30. Oh, where's my item number? <laughs> Put it on the zip lock. 
So it's item 802. Item 802. And that is Susan's Sampler Studies book. Next up, the models inside. So this is the watering can stitching wallet. The watering can stitching wallet is a kit, so you get the supplies in there. Let me show you the model. So. This is trying some wool work. Oops. So this is your wallet. So all the pieces are already cut out for you that are in this kit. And it has that cute little bumblebee charm that comes included as well. The fabric covers a pre-cut form to make another pocket and holds all of the best stitching tools. This is awesome for traveling. Let me open it up. So you've got zipper, and then you've got credit card size pockets right there, and then there's another larger pocket right there. And it is a heavy, firm wool. There's even a pocket in the back. I just found that. I didn't know that was there. And then that's your front, and it is a little snap that goes right there. This is super cute. This is a nice little travel wallet. I would want to use this for my purse, but then I'd be afraid that I'd ruin it. And then I'd be so pissed at myself. So this is going to be, this is $35, and it's item number 804. 804, there's your kit. 804, $35. Next up is going to be a beautiful black fold up. So we'll show you. Okay. So now the beautiful black fold up is a compliment to the pouch. You know what? Hold on. Let's do the pouch first. How about that? That makes a little bit more sense, right? So this is, you're gonna be your beautiful black stitchy pouch. So there's your stitchy pouch right there. This is $35, it's item number 803. And it's full set, beautiful initials on there. It's included, you've got the threads included in there, the banding and the pouch, and then this special fabric. And then I'm gonna show you that it's lining on the inside there. Mom, do you have a ruler? Do you have a ruler? Oh, I have a tape measure because I have that cute little giveaway. Because I want to tell you what size it is. Thanks for this little tape measure, Susan. It's coming in handy, even though you're going to have to give it to someone. So it's eight and a half wide by nine inches tall. So we're at eight and a half by nine, and the zipper part right here is probably at about seven inches, okay? This is 803, $35, 803. Keep my, I don't know, I might have to just keep this snail and she'll have to come up with a different door prize because he's, he's cute. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the, the compliment. This is a little accoutrement to the pouch. Let me show you. The lace is from France, as well as the charms. And you've got some silk ribbon on there as well. And it is a kit. And we're gonna show you that way first. I'll flip it. And it is, oh, it's upside down. There we go. So you've got pocket, and then you've got pocket, and then the ribbon would go around. And then you've got your little scissors, and then can you see the lace up there as well? 
with your silk. So this is $45. And it's item number 806. 806. Last night was bad. Uh, it's difficult to see the entire item with the narrow. Okay. All right, so that's an issue. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to the way I did it. So I think what we'll do is I'm gonna finish up Susan's items and then I'm gonna kick you guys out and we're gonna log right back in and we'll do JBW designs and some fabric. And I'll go back to the way I had done it before. All right. Okay. So um, what, what do I have here? I have the gusseted linen bag. This is for like the worker bees. I'm actually gonna take, actually I don't need to. So let me show you the gusseted linen bag here. Okay, pull it back. I'm gonna put it right in front of my face so you can see it's a nice big bag. I will show up, um, Deb, yeah, I'll put 809 again. So this is item number 807, and this is a worker bee. The pattern has many historical motifs in it this, and sets on this perfect little linen guy here. Super cute, that's the linen. Okay, so the project does not include the thread color. It says you select your favorite color. So we need to know that this does not actually include your thread colors in there. This is item number seven it's forty five dollars and the bag measures so 14 wide by just about 14 high so it's like a 14 by 14 bag with a nice long handle okay so this is item number eight zero seven it's the gusseted linen bag for forty five dollars this is nice heavy linen it's not any of that cheapo stuff This is going to be your drawstring pouch. This is the drawstring pouch. So the drawstring pouch is on flannel. Let me show you the model. So this is a this is flannel drawstring pouch. It's got an even weaving that she brought from Germany. Hand dyed linen. And it's got the three tiny thread bobbins as well. So all this is in there. Got the little drawstring there. And you can see she's got all, comes right inside. So your kit comes right inside your drawstring bag with the instructions on stitching and at attaching. So this is $25 and it's item number 801. $25, item number 801. I love the pattern on this bag. I lost my number. So this bag is it, oh, has this awesome print to it. So this is a linen banded drawstring bag. They lugged this fabric back from Italy. Can you imagine? It's actually a good weight too, so I can't imagine them stuffing it in their suitcase. So um, you can stitch whatever you want on it. They've got the banding strip on there already for you. So it's item number 805, it's $40. And this is a nice big bag. It has the drawstring. And it is a circular bottom, so it works like a sack bag. And then you've got the banding and they've got it so it's sealed on the bottom. Put your hand in, stitch on the top. Item number 805, it's $40. And I'll give you the width of these ones. This guy is 13 inches wide. And if I go from the top to your round belly, it's about 12 inches. 
So you got 13 inches this way, and it's about 12 to right where your circle seam comes in. So right about there. Okay, 805, $40. And she's got these cute little, these squatty benches with a double. So, I lost my number on this one. And it's right here. It's actually on. So the kit comes with your little squatty bench. And then the instructions to make your double pin cushion on top for your squatty bench. And then she includes it in a little envelope like this. So it's item number 808. It's $55. 808. And it's squatty bench with double stacked pin pillows. Item number 808. For 55. Yeah, I lost my train of thought there. Okay. Does anybody want to review something? I know somebody told me they wanted to see something again. Was, hold on, I'm looking. Will you show 809 again? 809 was Katie Katie. Yes. 809. So this is Katie Katie. 809. So it's a Bradley bag, it's $95, and you get the kit. With the fabric, specialty fabric in there. So that was Katie Katie, and then I'll show you the inside. I'm gonna show you on this one because I already have it open. And that's the inside of the Katie Katie. So you've got netted double zipper on both sides, okay. Any others? Let me pan back up again. Um, the squatty bench is a kit. Sorry, I forgot to show you that part. So yes, to answer your question, yes. If you want to do the squatty bench kit, which was eight, item number 808, you get this plus obviously your instructions for $55. Um, Meredith, don't check on my stock until after the show ends. It's too hard for me to count it while I'm doing it but I will double check once I look through the orders and let you know if there's any left of 800. She didn't give me quantities for hers. What she's gonna do is, we're gonna do the sales, we're gonna do it on one invoice like we always do, but she's actually gonna drop ship her items from her house. So you'll, if you purchased anything on any of our other shows, um, you'll get that from my location, but her stuff will come from her location. Um, that way we can combine shipping and everything like that. So it will be one cost for you. It won't be um, any additional cost or anything to do that. Okay. Anybody want to see anything else on Susan's before we move on? 800. Erlene, sorry, I'm reading. Um, it's a book. It is. It's the beast. Hold on. So it's this book right here. And what it does is it teaches you the steps and the work to make. Okay, so that was 800 and 800 is $20.
Anyone else? Looking, looking, looking. Okay. So the question is, do I just keep going the way I'm going for tonight? Or do you want me to kick you guys off and log back in differently? And I'll text Susan and see what she's got, how many she's got for 800. I'm sure she's got some. I She usually won't give me something if she doesn't even have, if she at least has like maybe six or a dozen. Hmm. Okay. Yell loud, Deb, put your hearing aids in. <laughs> Look, I'm pretty loud. <laughs> Log back in, keep going. All right, so it's like a 50-50 here. All right, I'm kicking you off. I'm gonna do it. The other way. I'm going to exit out of this and we're going to go back in. So I expect to see 75 people log back in now. Okay. All right. Give me two seconds. You'll see me pop up again and we'll just say I'm going, I'm, I'm live or whatever. Just make sure you're on my, um, my website. Not website, Facebook, whatever. Oh my God, it's not working. Sorry, YouTubers. I know you're probably just sitting in limbo right now, but I want to get this working. And of course, it's not. Because God forbid anything's easy for me right now. Here we go. Bear with me, bear with me. And then we're going to move on to JBW Designs after that. <laughs> Making me fill out stuff. Why can't it just let me go on? Oh my God. This is actually not as planned here. Alive. Alive. Seriously? It's a blank screen, guys. You gotta be kidding me. This was a fail. Oh my God. Okay. Totally not working. I guess everybody should have just logged on to YouTube, right? Because I just had to kick everything out. Disaster. Try it again. I know. Sorry, YouTubers. You guys are just kind of like left holding. This is what happens when simultaneously casting does not work. And everything is moving really slow. Maybe that's my issue. Okay. I think I got it this time. There it is. Going live again. That was a scene and a half. And I don't see any comments on YouTube, so I'm assuming. Yeah, it looks super delayed on my side now. And it's not working. It's totally, totally not working. Okay, well, I'm going to move.
move some stuff around so that we can get on to JBW. And we'll see how this works. Oh, I got eight people. Sort of working. So I don't know if that was the wisest choice I've ever done in my life. Yeah, I feel like it's all freezing up now. Yeah, I'm back, but I don't know if it's any better. I think now I'm like on a delay and my computer hates me and it's all good. Maybe tomorrow we'll figure out a different way to do it. <laughs> Okay, doing JBW next. We're just gonna wait for a few more people. This was like a whole project. I couldn't get the camera to work. Yeah, it's, it's like, even on my side, I'm like freezing and delaying and it's not working well. We're going to have to go with it. I don't know why this is having so much time, hard time now. I feel like it's freezing my other one now, too. Way worse. Awesome. Okay. I just can't. Oh, you guys. This wasn't this bad last night. I don't understand. All right. We're trying one more time, but we're going back to the old way now that I can't get it to stay. I'm going back in. Hold on. I'm going to try this here. Okay. What's happening? Nothing's working. Basically, nothing is working for me right now. Everything is totally frozen. Awesome. Let's try this again. <sighs> what? No, I I want everything to work on one computer with with like nice smooth transaction. That's what I want. Okay. We're exiting out again. Trying one more time. Sorry. I'm going to lose everybody. I'm sorry. My poor YouTubers. Hi. I know. So sorry. We're going to try one more time to do this. I'm going to lose all you guys too, aren't I? Because you're like, why am I just sitting here waiting for her? I want to see stuff. Not working. Nothing's working. Oh my god. Okay. Celebration. Anything else? No. No. Celebration. Mom, it won't let me do anything. I don't know what to tell everybody right now. We might have to postpone this. Because it's just not working for me.
Nope, it's not working, guys. Oh my God. I don't, I don't even know what to do now. Now I'm like stressing out because this is just a total fail. I can't get anything to work. And it's like saying I'm still live even though I'm not. Oh, so I am still live. Are you guys like, are you guys laughing at me because I'm sitting here saying that I'm wanting it to go live and it's not? Is that what's happening right now? This is like a total fail. Everything is frozen. Well, we might have to do all right. We might have to do this tomorrow. If I can't get my stream to work, then we might have to do JBW tomorrow with little colonial designs. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I am ending my YouTube. Sorry, YouTubers, but I'm going to exit out of everything. And then if I can get it to work, I'll pull it back up, check back in a few minutes. Otherwise, we'll do JBW tomorrow because this is like totally failing me right now. Sorry.